By now, you've probably heard quite a lot about AI tools like ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence chatbot developed by OpenAI, as well as all the ways they can help you streamline your business processes and create content more efficiently. From ideation and content creation, like writing emails, website copy, blog posts and video scripts, to creation of high quality artwork, customer service, and even completing client deliverables for you, ChatGPT can be a huge time and money saver, essentially capable of taking on the role of free virtual assistant. After spending time testing the capabilities of both ChatGPT and Midjourney, which is a really impressive text to image AI that can crank out custom images for book covers, coloring book interiors, logos, posters, basically any job you can think of that requires imagery, I can tell you that these tools are truly mind blowing and they are going to change the way we all work. But here's the thing, this is a perfect example of technology outpacing policy at the speed of a runaway freight train. And most of the videos I've watched about incorporating these tools into your online business focus solely on the upsides of saving time, effort, and money, but they conveniently leave out some of the most important legal and ethical considerations to keep in mind when using AI in your business. Now, I'm not gonna cover some of the larger philosophical concerns around AI, including how it might eventually take over the planet and wipe out humanity, although I do think there are some really valid discussions to be had in that regard. Instead, since this channel is all about online business, we're gonna talk about the ethical and legal considerations that are most relevant to online business and how you can use these tools to your advantage while still being responsible and ethical in your business practices. Also, I'm not a lawyer, this isn't legal advice, so any legal considerations that I do bring up here are here for you to bring up with an actual lawyer if you need any further guidance. One of the main concerns with AI-generated content is the potential for plagiarism and copyright infringement. Since AI language models are trained on massive amounts of text data available on the internet, there's a risk of unintentional plagiarism when generating new content. Some of this content might resemble existing content too closely, which could lead to copyright infringement and intellectual property violations. Even if it's not an exact copy, it could potentially be considered plagiarism if it closely mimics the structure and the style of existing content without proper attribution or citation. And if the AI-generated content uses copyrighted material without permission, it could result in legal action against your business. The risk here is greatest when relying on a tool like ChatGPT to create actual content like blog posts, book manuscripts, or emails. And what about a tool like Midjourney that's been trained on millions of existing images from around the web, most of which have been created by individual artists who did not grant permission for their artwork to be used? Several AI artwork generators, including Midjourney, are currently being sued for alleged copyright infringement, but the AI companies have requested that the US courts dismiss the claim citing fair use. And I have to admit that legally, I'm not sure how the artists behind the lawsuit might win. These AIs learn and create artwork in a similar way to actual humans. I don't know of any artists, myself included, who didn't learn how to create and refine their own art by looking at, studying, and mimicking artwork of others in order to eventually create their own unique images. And this is essentially the same way image generating AIs work. Now, putting artists out of work is another matter entirely, and we are gonna get to that in a minute. So what's the solution to this particular dilemma? Content creators and businesses should use a plagiarism detection tool like Grammarly to make sure that any text content generated by AI tools is original and be sure to use proper citations if it includes specific data points or stats from other sources. Most importantly, read and understand the licensing terms of any AI tool that you use, especially if you're using the content for commercial purposes. And stay informed with how intellectual property laws might change in response to this new technology so that you can be sure you're operating inside the law. Personally, I recommend that any content that you generate using AI is used as a starting point only. I find ChatGPT most useful in my ideation process, help me overcome writer's block, or to create content based on a bullet point outline that I've already created myself. In fact, that's exactly what I did to create the script for this video. But I wouldn't use it to write an entire blog post, a video script, or an email to my audience from scratch. Potential plagiarism or misinformation are issues here, but I also want my writing to be in my voice and I want to feel connected to my audience and I can't really do those things by handing the work over to ChatGPT. Next up is factual errors. AI generated content may not always be accurate or high quality, which could result in misinformation. Now this is because the algorithms used to generate the content are only as good as the data that they're trained on and there's a ton of false information out there on the web. The solution here is to always have a human editor review and fact check any AI generated content before it's published so you can make sure it's accurate and high quality, especially if you like to pepper facts and stats into your work. If you don't do this, you're gonna to contribute to the already massive problem of misinformation and you're gonna end up undermining your credibility and position as an authority in your space. Another big one here is the lack of transparency when it comes to using AI generated content. If your audience, clients, and customers aren't aware that the content they're reading or watching is generated by AI, that could be seen as deceptive or misleading and you're gonna lose trust. 
The remedy here is to be transparent about the use of AI in your business, especially if you're using it to create client deliverables, and make sure the content is accurate and unbiased. You can do this in your website terms and conditions and be sure to disclose it in your service contract, if you use one, and you should. And if you're a designer, a social media manager, or a copywriter who uses AI-generated content and client deliverables, I found a disclaimer that you can grab at thelegalpage.com. That's the legal, and then page is P-A-I-G-E.com, and I've linked to that down below. Another issue is bias and discrimination. Now, in the context of online business and content creation, this could mean inadvertently using discriminatory or biased language in your content. It could mean discriminatory hiring practices if AI is used to screen candidate resumes. And it could even mean bias against certain groups of people when using AI advertising platforms like Google or Facebook. The solution here is human oversight. Review your content, look out for bias or discriminatory language, and if you do use AI models for hiring, make sure the models that you use are trained on diverse and representative data sets, including a wide range of genders, races, ethnicities, and other characteristics. This last one is a big one, and if you're an artist, a writer, a virtual assistant, it's probably the one that's most on your mind, and that is job displacement. With more and more people looking to ChatGPT to create their content, take over their customer service, write their emails and you know, looking to AIs like Midjourney to generate professional level artwork. If you're a professional whose livelihood might be at stake, you might be really worried about your future. And if you're running a business that hires those types of professionals, you might be left wondering if passing them over in favor of an AI tool is an ethical choice in the first place. Now this is a tricky one because yes, there is going to be job displacement. Now at what scale I think is yet to be determined, but it is going to happen. And if it's your job that's displaced, that's a big deal. I remember when I was growing up, my dad was a machinist by trade and like a decade into his career, robotics started to take over. So there was a huge portion of my childhood where my dad was just constantly in and out of work as his trade slowly became obsolete. And that created a lot of economic hardship for our family. And one thing I know is that you can't stop progress, especially technological progress. History is full of inventions that we all enjoy today that at the time were responsible for the death of entire industries. The printing press impacted the scribe, the mechanized loom impacted the weaver. There are dozens and dozens of other examples where new technology either made a significant impact on a certain profession or made it entirely outright obsolete. Now the solution here, in my opinion, is if you're someone who believes your livelihood is at risk, rather than push back on a technology that isn't going to go away, try to adapt and figure out ways to use these technologies to your advantage. Also remember that you still have skills that cannot easily be replaced by AI, like critical thinking, creativity, emotional intelligence. And even as some professions change or even become obsolete as a result of AI becoming more powerful, AI is likely going to create a lot of brand new opportunities that don't yet exist. My final thoughts are that I believe that there is a way to use AI in your online business in a thoughtful, responsible, and ethical way. I also think that AI is best used as a tool rather than a replacement for human creativity and expertise. Yes, you can use ChatGPT to write your emails and your blog posts, but is that content gonna sound like you? Is it gonna align with your brand voice and values and messaging? Personally, I plan on using AI mainly for ideation sessions or maybe even creating first drafts of content for my own bullet point outlines. I don't wanna use it to write blog posts or emails from scratch. I've seen examples of that type of content and it just lacks personality. You know, it loses the storytelling element and it ends up feeling pretty generic. And I really don't think that's a good way to connect with my audience. What do you think? Are you currently using AI in your online business? If so, I would love to hear about how you're using it and what you think its limitations are in the comments. Also, if you're currently a solopreneur and you're in the early stages of starting out, or even if you want to start an online business, but you don't have an idea yet and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in terms of what steps to take first, what to focus on and not focus on to get the ball rolling, download my free guide, the four step, no time to waste online business startup blueprint down in the description below. This guide takes you through all the steps of starting an online knowledge-based business from idea generation, right through to creating an offer and marketing it to your audience. So check it out. And if you wanna see my test drives of ChatGPT and Midjourney, you can check out these videos here. Don't forget to hit the like button and share if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.